morning, my name is Dick Pinto, I'm a homeowner and uh, having this pergola installed in my home and I, I wanted to have a color that matched my home style and so uh, researched and came with this product, a Teflon based product, Cabot. It comes with a series of colors and um, after experiencing it on my first pergola, it worked very well. The primary issue is making sure that the vinyl is clean. Now I had uh, both tried sanding and using it in its natural form and I couldn't tell the difference. It would probably be some time before I could uh, determine whether or not that was beneficial to do either way. For this case, uh, we're not going to sand, we're going to leave it on uh, the, the way it is on uh, one coat. The application takes two coats. Each coat it takes 24 hours to really dry well to turn it over to get the other sides. If you don't do that, what happens is that it'll begin sticking and then you have uh, areas on the, on the vinyl that is hard to make it smooth. One of the, one of the beauties too is to uh, use a 3 16 inch nap foam roller. Uh, I experienced with different types of rollers, different thicknesses of rollers, and the best that I found was to use um, the foam. The foam uh, was able to grab the vinyl and provide a nice texture. And during, after the second coat, uh, I was able to uh, create a beautiful texture so that it wasn't smooth and yet created a very uh, pleasing appearance. Uh, my experience so far on having completed one and now starting the second is that it is, the, the surface is very durable. But should something sharp come in contact with it, it will scratch it. So uh, you want to keep some on hand for some touch up. But for the pieces that are way up where no contact is made, it is a very durable surface and will weather fine. And I've had my first pergola up for some time now and it's held up very well. Uh, once again with colors, uh, there is a wide range of colors with this 1700 series uh, paint from Cabot and uh, you have a great latitude of which you can use uh, in matching up your home style home decor. The uh, tedious but yet it uh, comes across very well and I would imagine after four days of completely doing everything is that you can do the whole set. Now as you see in my background uh, we did this in the garage and it was important to keep control of the, the moisture as it was being painted and the, and the evenings when it cooled down so that it, moisture wouldn't build up on it again. And then I was able to do the whole set completely all the way through. Um, we're getting ready to do the cross beams. We've done the, the, uh, the stringers and uh, it's just uh, labor and love. Can't get any better than that. Thank you.